Hey, history divers, dive with us into the history of the Silk Road, a network of trade paths that have shaped the world in innumerable ways. But where did it all begin? Let's rewind to around 130 BC, during the reign of the Han Dynasty in China. The Han Dynasty, an era of innovation and exploration, was a time when China began to reach out beyond its borders. The leader of this outreach was a man named Zhang Qian. A diplomat by profession, Zhang Qian was sent on a mission by Emperor Wu to the western regions. His task was to form an alliance against the nomadic Xiongnu, a common enemy of the Han Dynasty. However, Zhang Qian's journey didn't quite go as planned. He was captured by the Xiongnu and remained a captive for nearly 10 years. But this didn't deter him. He escaped and continued his mission, traveling through territories and forming alliances, marking the beginnings of what would later become the Silk Road. Zhang Qian's explorations served a dual purpose. His political mission was to secure alliances, but he also brought back valuable information about the lands he visited. His descriptions of the fertile lands, the abundance of resources, and the potential for trade sparked interest in the Han court. It wasn't long before trade caravans began to traverse these routes, exchanging goods, ideas, and cultures along the way. The main commodity, as the name suggests, was silk. This luxurious fabric produced only in China was highly sought after in the West. But the Silk Road wasn't just about silk, it was a conduit for a wide range of goods, spices, textiles, precious metals, and even horses. The Silk Road was more than just a trade route, it was a conduit for cultural and knowledge exchange. Ideas, philosophies, religious beliefs, and even diseases traveled along these routes, impacting societies along its length. Thus, the Silk Road, a network of trade routes, was born, forging connections between the East and the West. It was a testament to human ingenuity and the desire for exploration and connection. Stay tuned to delve deeper into the political, economic, and societal aspects of this fascinating network of trade routes. Now, let's unravel the political system that operated along the Silk Road. The Silk Road, a network of trade routes, was a melting pot of diverse political entities, each leaving its indelible mark on the annals of history. Over centuries, multiple powers including the Roman Empire, the Mongol Empire, and various Chinese dynasties, held sway over different sections of this vast trade route. In the West, the Roman Empire, with its well-structured political system, exerted control over its part of the Silk Road. Their organized governance provided a sense of security and stability to traders, enabling them to ply their goods with relative ease. Moving eastward, we encounter the Mongol Empire. The Mongols, under the leadership of the legendary Genghis Khan, unified a significant portion of the Silk Road. Their policy of Pax Mongolica, or Mongol Peace, ensured safe passage for traders, travelers, and goods. This peace led to an unprecedented cultural exchange and flourishing trade across the Eurasian landmass. Further east, the Chinese dynasties held the reins, from the Han Dynasty, which first established the Silk Road, to the Tang and Song Dynasties, each added their unique touch to this historic trade route. The Chinese rulers implemented policies that encouraged trade, leading to the prosperity of cities along the Silk Road and the spread of Chinese culture. These political systems, each distinct and yet interconnected, provided the stability necessary for trade and cultural exchange. They established laws, provided security, and maintained infrastructure, all of which facilitated the smooth operation of the Silk Road. In essence, the Silk Road was not merely a trade route. It was a complex network nurtured by the interplay of various political systems, each contributing to its vibrancy and dynamism. The Silk Road thrived under these political systems, becoming a vibrant center of international trade and cultural exchange. The echoes of these political entities continue to resonate, reminding us of a time when trade and culture traversed borders creating a rich tapestry of global interaction. Next, we'll delve into the economic lifeblood of the Silk Road. The Silk Road was much more than a highway for the exchange of goods. It was a catalyst for economic development, linking the East and West in a network of trade that spanned continents. Its economic impact was immense, shaping the wealth and prosperity of many civilizations. A key player in this grand exchange was, of course, silk. Originating from China, silk was a highly sought-after commodity, valued for its beauty, lightness, and durability. Its production process, a closely guarded secret for centuries, further enhanced its allure. This luxurious fabric, often dyed in vibrant colors and intricately patterned, was a status symbol, and a sign of wealth and power. But the Silk Road was not just about silk. 
a myriad of other goods, each with its own tail, traveled along this ancient highway. From the east came tea, porcelain, paper, and gunpowder. From the west, gold, silver, woolen, and linen fabrics, olive oil, and wine. Traders also carried precious gems and metals, ivory, glass, and exotic animals. Spices were another vital item of trade. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, and ginger journeyed from the east, their scents filling the air of bustling bazaars. These spices not only added flavor to food, but also had medicinal properties, making them incredibly valuable. This vast array of goods was not just a demonstration of the diversity of products available, but also a testament to the interconnectedness of the economies along the Silk Road. It fostered economic interdependence among regions, with each one specializing in producing certain goods that were in demand elsewhere. It's also important to note that the Silk Road wasn't a one-way street. Goods, ideas, and innovations flowed in both directions. For instance, papermaking and gunpowder technology from China revolutionized industries and warfare in the West, while advances in agriculture and manufacturing from the West influenced practices in the East. Moreover, the Silk Road facilitated the development of several cities. Many places that were mere pit stops or caravan sarais grew into thriving economic hubs. Cities like Samarkand, Bukhara, and Chang'an owe much of their prosperity and cultural richness to their strategic locations along this trade route. The Silk Road also led to the emergence of a new class of merchants. These were not just traders but adventurers, risk-takers who braved treacherous terrains, pirates, and bandits in pursuit of profit. They formed guilds and developed complex systems of credit and banking, shaping the commercial practices of the time. In conclusion, the Silk Road was an intricate web of economic connections that spanned continents. It was a conduit for goods, ideas, and innovations driving economic growth and prosperity. It shaped cities, influenced cultures, and changed the course of history. The Silk Road was indeed an economic powerhouse driving the prosperity of many civilizations. Let's explore the often overlooked role of women in Silk Road societies. Now, when we think of the Silk Road, we often imagine daring merchants and explorers traversing vast deserts and soaring mountains. Rarely do we consider the women who were integral to its success. Let's change that. Women were key contributors to the Silk Road's economy. One of the most vital goods traded along the Silk Road was silk, and women were at the heart of its production. From the delicate task of unwinding the silk threads from the cocoon, to weaving intricate patterns, women were the unsung heroes of the silk industry. Their skilled hands crafted the precious material that would travel thousands of miles, influencing cultures far and wide. But their contributions didn't stop there. Women also played a significant role in managing caravanserais, the roadside inns that provided shelter and sustenance to weary travelers. These establishments were vital pit stops along the Silk Road, and women often oversaw their day-to-day -day operations. They ensured travelers had a safe place to rest, recharge, and replenish their supplies, making the long, arduous journey a little more bearable. Now let's shine a spotlight on some notable women in Silk Road history. One such woman was Tamiris, a warrior queen who ruled over the Masajte, a nomadic tribe that resided near the Silk Road. Tamiris is remembered for her bravery and strategic prowess, particularly for her victory over Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Persian Empire. Her story is a testament to the power and influence women wielded, even in those ancient times. Women were not just passive observers along the Silk Road, they were active participants and contributors, shaping the course of history through their actions. They were producers, managers, warriors, and so much more. Their stories, though often overlooked, are woven into the very fabric of the Silk Road, much like the threads of the silk they so skillfully crafted. Women played a crucial role in the functioning and success of the Silk Road, a fact that deserves recognition. Now, journey with us into the diverse world of language and religion along the Silk Road. The Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting the East and the West, was an avenue for more than just goods. It was a significant channel for the spread of languages and religions, painting a vivid picture of cultural and religious exchange. As numerous civilizations interacted along these routes, a diverse array of languages echoed through the markets and meeting places. From the ancient tongues of Sogdian and Tokarian, to more familiar languages like Persian, Arabic and Chinese, the Silk Road was a linguistic melting pot. Traders, pilgrims and scholars each brought their language, contributing to an ever-evolving symphony of communication. 
This intermingling of languages led to the development of lingua francas, or bridge languages, such as Persian in the West and Chinese in the East, designed to facilitate trade and cultural exchange. Yet the Silk Road was more than a language exchange. It became a conduit for religious beliefs, spreading spiritual ideologies far beyond their places of origin. Buddhism, a religion initially confined to the Indian subcontinent, found its way eastward along these routes. Buddhist art and scriptures were carried by monks and pilgrims, leading to the establishment of Buddhism in China, Korea, and Japan. Islam, too, traveled along the Silk Road. Arab traders brought the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad to the far reaches of the Silk Road, reaching as far as China. The spread of Islam was not just through trade, but also through Sufi missionaries, who established communities along the routes, integrating Islamic practices with local traditions. Christianity, though originating in the Mediterranean region, also found its way eastward. Nestorian Christianity, a branch distinct from both Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches, established a significant presence in China, leaving behind a legacy of cross-cultural interaction. However, the spread of these religions wasn't one-way traffic. As Buddhism moved eastward, it absorbed influences from the cultures it encountered, resulting in the diverse forms of Buddhism we see today. Similarly, Islam and Christianity adapted to the local cultures, leading to unique practices and traditions. The Silk Road was not just a pathway for the exchange of goods, but a highway for the spread of ideas, languages, and religions. It was a melting pot of diverse cultures, blending together to create a unique tapestry of human civilization. This cultural and religious exchange along the Silk Road had a profound impact on the regions it connected. It led to the development of cosmopolitan cities like Samarkand and Chang'an, where multiple languages were spoken and numerous religions were practiced side by side. These cities became beacons of cultural and religious diversity, reflecting the rich heritage of the Silk Road. The Silk Road was a tapestry of languages and religions contributing to its rich cultural heritage. Finally, let's uncover some intriguing facts about the Silk Road. This historic network of trade routes doesn't just hold the title for being a significant conduit of commerce, it also boasts an array of fascinating details that add to its allure. Firstly, the Silk Road was not just one road but a vast network of interconnected routes stretching an impressive 4,000 miles. That's longer than the distance from Los Angeles to New York, back and forth with some miles to spare. It spanned across continents from China through India, Persia, Arabia, and into Europe. Travelers on the Silk Road faced more than just long distances. The journey was fraught with dangers, from unpredictable weather conditions in the deserts and mountains to potential attacks by bandits. Yet, caravans of camels and horses, led by brave and enterprising traders, traversed these routes, driven by the allure of exotic goods and the thrill of exploration. And speaking of exotic goods, did you know that the Silk Road was not only about silk, it was a veritable supermarket of its time with goods like spices, textiles, jewels, and even horses being traded. But perhaps the most intriguing exchange was not of goods, but of flavors. The Silk Road was a culinary melting pot, influencing cuisines around the world. Spices from the East found their way into European dishes, while noodles traveled from China and evolved into what we now know as pasta in Italy. Lastly, the Silk Road was not just a route for trade, but also a highway for knowledge. Ideas, beliefs, scientific knowledge, and even artistic styles were exchanged along these routes, shaping cultures and societies along the way. These fascinating facts give us a glimpse into the complex and vibrant world of the Silk Road. We've journeyed through the history of the Silk Road together, from its birth to its legacy. We've seen its humble beginnings, traced the intricate network of routes, and examined the political systems that maintained its stability. We've delved into its economy, understanding how trade and commerce breathed life into this ancient highway. We've given voice to the women of the Silk Road, highlighting their significant roles in society. We've listened to the languages and religions that echoed along its paths, painting a vibrant image of cultural diversity. And we've shared some remarkable facts that make the Silk Road a fascinating topic of study. This historical journey has been as enriching as the trade routes themselves, and it's thanks to your curiosity that we keep exploring. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Silk Road's history, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more historical journeys. Until our next dive, keep exploring history divers.